if you're going to spend any amount of time in a certain area, uh, you're going to need uh, some sizable wood in order to make your fire last. You can break off small branches and twigs and stuff, okay? It, it makes a good fire, but you have to keep adding to it. Now, in the case, like I am here, where I'm spending the night, or numerous nights, okay? I want to get into some decent-sized wood so that I don't have to uh, run through the woods and uh, or have a big pile of the little stuff. Guess I'm not the only one out here hunting. I hear gunshots off in the distance. So anyways, uh, the big stuff, obviously you need some sort of a tool to take care of the job. Uh, you've seen me use this saw here, which is great. Okay, up to trees up to five or six inches in diameter, this will handle no problem. So a combination of this cheap Sierra colon Sierra saw and my fixed blade knife here makes a great combination. Shelter building, fire building, or whatever. Okay, works great. I decided to uh, buy another type of saw, which folds up into a nice little package like this. It's made by a company called UST, or Ultimate Survival Technologies. It's their Sabre, and I think it's, yeah, Sabre cut saw. So it's basically a chainsaw blade. get it around here. It's basically a chainsaw blade that will cut in both directions. Basically all it consists is you get half of it uh, with the, the teeth going one way and then they clamped another half blade with the teeth going the other way. There's only three or four. Like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So they're pretty aggressive teeth, and if you look closely, it is just a chainsaw blade. See the part here that fits on the uh, so the sprocket of the chainsaw? For any of you that have looked at a chainsaw closely, okay, will recognize this. There's another type of saw which I did not buy, or have not, and have not tried, and I think it's the pocket chainsaw. I don't know who the manufacturer is. Uh, when I was in the market to buy one of these saws, it was a cross between this one, which I ended up getting, or that pocket chainsaw. The reason why I chose this one is because a chainsaw blade can easily be sharpened with a proper file. So what I'm going to do here is basically a test while I'm uh, cutting some firewood. I'm going to be using this saw and also this saw on the same log okay so that the test is fair here's my log I've got it propped up off the ground so that I'm not cutting into the dirt and I like to cut these logs at about 12 inches in length it seems to be a good size for me for the type for the size of fire that I make okay so I'm gonna lanyard up here and Let's give her a go. There it is. On my Leatherman, there are some gratings here. So I'm gonna use this ruler. The log that I just cut is four, just at the four inch mark. Four inches in diameter. Now, on the same log, Using the other saw, I'm going to make a cut. The same wood. This this wood is uh, birch, by the way. It's a hard wood. It was blown over by the wind uh, sometime in the past year or so, 
it's uh, not completely dry yet but it does burn nicely here we go There it is. So again, using my same tool, it is four inches. So it's the same diameter. Look how jagged of a cut it made. Those teeth, those teeth are very aggressive. Uh, now the last bit, as you can see, busted off. Now, if this tree were alive, I don't think that it would have busted like that. I'm going to repeat the saw test using softwood. This is a, a fallen limb off of a pine tree. So it's been dead for a good while. Alright, here goes. wasn't too bad that final piece though uh, it always breaks the teeth are very very aggressive so you don't forget when you're cutting the angle at which you cut gets steeper and steeper that makes a saw more likely to bind it's okay when you're out here when the woods nice and round but as you cut into the wood the angle gets sharper and sharper and sharper okay and then the saw is more likely to bind on you the diameter of the wood is two and a half inches I'm going to repeat the test using this cost-effective colon sierra saw and use a lanyard cut a similar length here all right let's go Painless. Just to be fair, let's compare the diameters. They look pretty darn close to me. Actually, this uh, one actually looks larger. So, there you go. Test repeated with softwood. Fair comparison because I've cut uh, pieces of wood pretty near the same length okay one with one saw the uh, cheap sorry reverse here I'm looking at myself in the viewfinder 
the uh, the cheap saw I got from Canadian Tire made a nice smooth cut okay and as I was cutting it was nice and even the whole way uh, the faster I go the faster it cut of course the one by the one that I cut with the ultimate survival technology saw the saber cut saw see how it's all jagged and jagged I think this was why like the the teeth are basically very very aggressive now as far as the amount of effort it took I would have to say that the easier one to use is the cheap saw the uh, the cut or the kerf so the thickness of the blade is very thin so you can easily uh, go at it with just the one hand Okay, you don't have to use both hands you can use one arm so if you have one arm that's injured for whatever reason okay you could get away with by using this saw on the other hand the saber cut saw you need both hands and you've seen how much it bound in that wood now I've used this saw in the past and uh, I, I had the same type of result uh, even soft wood it binds a lot it actually gets pretty frustrating because after a while I spend more time trying to get the saw unstuck than actually cutting So if I could only have one saw and I had to choose, I would give the win to this one here, okay, because this, it's an alright saw, but it, it just binds too much. And the whole idea of getting the teeth that could be easily sharpened using a file kind of gets negated by the amount of grab it has. It's just too aggressive for a handsaw great for a chainsaw when you got a gas motor behind the uh, these couple mosquitoes left over from the uh, summer season uh, as I was saying it's the teeth are very very aggressive so in terms of effort I think overall effort costs uh, ease of use and all that being taken into consideration I think the cheap saw is better sorry but uh, anyways <laughs> that's just the way it is I had high hopes for the uh, saber cut saw because it fits up nice on your belt it's nice and compact this actually fits in my pants pocket I have some army pants on with big pockets on the side most of the time this saw is in there if uh, you happen to be wondering how the uh, saw performs you were thinking of buying one maybe you be the judge I'm on the fence I don't regret buying the saw because it does work uh, it's just as a survival saw uh, I don't think I would pick it no I definitely go with this all right so this is Jack I hope you like that little comparison it's not really a scientific test but you know it's it is what it is so uh, if you have any questions or suggestions please don't hesitate to uh, post them in the comment section or just send me a PM or whatever I prefer uh, questions in the comment section because it's there for everyone to see rather than the, uh, taking the time to answer similar questions and PMs so hope you enjoyed my video thanks for watching see you soon